Oh, okay. No, no. Mm. I forgot. So yeah, because we're connected, right? So when you are only thinking about your issues, you are not building connections with others, right? So it's not that good. But the best healing is when you give someone what you want. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but that's how it works. Because yeah, it will, right? That's yeah, like, because whatever what you want, you give to someone else. Yeah. You you, what you put out is what you get back. So, for example, because I read this in a book before, you see someone on the street begging for money. Mm. You give, regardless of how much you have, because if you're giving them, it comes back. But you're also showing your mindset. Hey, I don't lack anything. Mm. Of course, it'll show you back. But of course, mm. money is just one example. It's not everything. Yeah. Mm. And when you feel that person really needs the help, yeah, yeah, it makes you feel good. You get help. They get help. Mm. In situation, you know, but if you're. <laughs> Mm. Only thinking about your issues, for example. Yeah. They say why that does not serve us. Yeah. Right. So people think when they have some issues, they have no energy caring about other people. Yeah. But that's not true, right? So instead of focusing on your issue, if you still help others, right, without thinking about your issue, then when you come back, you might feel like, where's my issue? Yeah. And also, when you focus, right, you give energy. Yeah, if you focus too much on your own issues, it yeah. becomes larger and larger. Yeah. yeah, and then you can find other issues. Yeah, you'll keep digging a hole of that. Because you're manifesting. <laughs> you're saying, I have problems. You, you tell the universe, I have issues. And then you were saying, yes, you do. <laughs> tell you more. Right. Every day, keep sending you more and more yeah. issues. You can really hypnotize yourself and say, I really have a problem. Yeah, that's how you are building your own life, by through your own thoughts, because that's the formula. That's really no. That's how it is. <laughs> you are creating. Yeah, that's how you create life. Mm. And but that also shows how great you are, how powerful you are. You can, you can do the opposite where you mm. focus mm. on things that will serve you, because your issues will also be positive. Being positive. Right. Not saying to ignore your issues, of course, but sometimes it's a matter of perspective of how hard the issue is. Or sometimes the issues are. Yeah, it's a test. And if you can pass it, then it's a test for you to understand uh, what you can do to make it not an issue instead of enlarge it. Yeah. Right? It's not to pay attention to. Yeah. So what would be an example of that? Sure, you... Anything. You, you, we don't have to mention a name, right? Like, yeah, you just... don't see it's a problem. Really, it cannot bother you. You can't even create your own problem. <laughs> For example, when I, I created my own digestion issues, <laughs> I said, I told myself, why am I always bloated? And then, of course, I become always bloated. Mm. But then I gave myself a test. What if I just ignore it? Mm. I don't even think about it anymore. And I don't, be I'm not bloated because it's not in my consciousness. So it's really silly. And even Amy was saying how when she was younger, she manifested being sick. Because she didn't to, want to get, to get, a, oh, oh, not to yeah. get attention. Uh, kids, right? They, they want to get attention. Yeah. So they can really make themselves sick. They can really sick. make it sick, yeah. yeah but don't do that. <laughs> it doesn't serve you. But then what does not serve you also will serve you. See? Yes, in some ways, because you realize. Yeah, because you know that does not work. Does not serve you. Yeah, in a way, everything is very simple. Right? There's nothing complicated. Really nothing complicated. Um, I had uh, some other realization I was going to share, but now I don't remember. And I just realized. I realized one thing about connecting with your higher self. Right? One of my clients asked me, he said, I cannot connect with myself. And I did not prepare what to say, but when I'm saying it, you know what happens? I just realized, I said, you do this way, right? You don't need to sit still and do meditation and go within, right? Because how many times you can do that, right? But can we do something that we're, we're always connecting with ourselves, always. So how? If you are going to do something or say something, but you never did that before, okay? So without preparing mm -hmm. any preparations, you just trust yourself mm -hmm. and say, I'm going to learn when I'm doing it, right? And what will happen is you will be able to handle it. Mm -hmm. Or when you're talking, I say right now, we're talking about this one, right? Mm -hmm. you not care? Oh, what I'm going to say, right? Uh, I'm going to say this first, right? And then mm -hmm. this second. If you don't do this way, so how can you talk? Because your heart is yes. feeding information. It's not a lot of flow, it's not thinking too much. Or not thinking, thinking at all. Yeah, it's not thinking at all. Yeah. And then why you can talk? What do you think? Because, because ourself, yeah, it's doing this at least with you. Yeah. So if you trust yourself, right, and you put yourself there, so every time it's gonna work. 
yeah. But you have to trust. That's number one thing. Right? Yeah, trust. You have to believe that you have all the knowing and you right, have access to it by trusting. Mm. Yeah, that's important. This way is more practical, and you are connecting with your higher self all the time. It will make you feel better too. And when you do that, when you are connected, guess what? Your higher self will come out very easily. Yeah, the more you do it, practice. Yeah, because the higher self knows. See, that's one good thing. Right. So I said, even this conversation is something I just discovered. This is the way to、um, right connect with your heart. Had another random thought. What is depression from a spiritual perspective, and why do people have? It's a depression. Misunderstanding of who you are. Yeah. Issue is that people identify with it so much. I don't know if you ever met people like that. People、so、around me are. I have depression. That this is what they said. I have depression, anxiety, and trauma. whatever what trauma. trauma. Yeah, trauma because I、mm. something like that. But the well, good but news is, you actually don't. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that because they think, oh, you can't tell me I don't have. <laughs> oh, you don't have. You have because you're at this moment. Yeah, not this moment. Just yeah, exactly. And that you don't have to carry right, yeah, anything to the next moment. You、either. don't have to keep believing that. You have to bring it with you. So the healing is instant. Yeah. If you want to get out and say I had enough, right, and then you can get out like that. But people do say, "Oh, of course I want to do that, but I feel so heavy, right? Like I'm carrying a heavy chain." So what do you say? <laughs> you you created that chain. You created that chain. Actually, because you're the, a little bit ridiculous to me, because that's how they feel. It's true. We have to、uh, okay, yeah, honor、true. that. But okay, the good news is now you can break the. Yeah, you can take it off. You can put on. You can throw it away. Oh, this actually reminds me. John Hopkins did a study on depression, anxiety people. People who say they had it for their entire life, right? And then it was a experiment with mushrooms, and to see. And then this one person, she says, what she saw was that the reason why she has depression, anxiety, is because of herself. First, she experienced so many scary visuals, like a hand pulling you or something like that. At the end, she realized, oh wow, it was all me. That credit money will afford you, so you can learn. So we cannot complain. Yeah, you don't complain. It's not because you're a mom, not because of what happened、mm-hmm. to you. It's because of your own reaction.、Mm-hmm. You have responsibility for how you react, and you cannot、uh, blame anyone. Yeah, if you blame people, then you're always so you、happen. give power away. Yeah, you give power away. Right. But so what?、Uh, resist, right? You resist. What you resist, no, persist, persist. Yeah. So when you deny something, and that something will control you. Yeah, because you're still putting attention well, to it—a、so, different type of attention. Right. And when you take the responsibility, then you gain the power. Yeah, you gain the wisdom and the power. The po- you get、yeah. the power that you thought you don't have back. So, so then,、mm-hmm. how about anxiety, fear? Yeah, that is.、Uh, you tell me. I, I'm not too、really, sure what I, what I can、understand. say about this. It's a basically you worry about the future, right? You worry about something that did not happen yet. Yeah, you worry about some a possibility that is not happening. So. What can you do? So you when you worry、yourself. about that, you are also giving energy to that thing, and you're manifesting that thing、yes. in a way. So that's the only way to、um, yeah. make that happen. Yeah, because you're doing it yourself, so it's a cycle.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get anxious about something that happens because you did it. Yeah, and then you say, tell yourself, "See, I told you." So we have to really change that habit. And think about it, if you worry about something that did not happen yet, it is pointless. It's very pointless. I think one thing that can help is living in the present. To the so so right. I tell myself I have problem.、Um, drink.、Uh, let's say if I have an issue right now about something, right? And like last night when I right in that altered state, I said no, I'm not gonna focus on that. And I、um, visualize a purple light. I don't know why, a purple light from high up. And this purple light, right, energy is calming every day. And then I feel、oh, I don't have issues. Right. Where、uh, right now I'm not. See, if I'm not taking action to do anything with this issue, what's the point to think about? It? Yeah. Right.、Thanks. I'm going to either right deal with that later, right, or maybe right the issue is not really there. Just because I'm worrying about. You know, sometimes we worry about something really did not happen. So right, you you think about like if I'm not taking any actions, right, thinking about it is not a solution. Yeah. Thinking about it is not. Generally, 